So it was, uh, in retrospect, you know, really, really pure. Because I, I remember growing up, I started playing guitar. People would come around the house. And I've said this before, but you know, in Alabama, the '60s hit Alabama in the '70s, and that was in the '70s. And uh, so there'd be poets come around the house, musicians, all kinds of stuff that was just uh, hippified, you know, childhood growing up. And, I remember Bobby Long and Fred Stokes and Tommy Jennings and my dad called themselves the Belleville Avenue Quartet and they'd sit around and play all these songs. And I, I, as years went by, I started picking up the guitar and I, one of the first songs I ever learned was a song called Stoney by Jerry Jeff Walker. And um, it's, it's a, one of those, I first ran into Stoney in a bar downtown. It was Richmond, Virginia. It was a beautiful song, and, and Bobby used to say, man, play that song about me, that song, Stoney. And, and uh, I'd always sing it for him, and then as I got older, I thought, damn, he needs his own song. That's about Stoney, that's not about Bobby. And um, as he started getting older and burning mo most of his bridges, I put together a song thinking of his love of T.S. Eliot and how he used to, used to recite Shakespeare and southern accent <laughs> to be and not to be that's a goddamn question <laughs> <laughs> and he recited love song J. Alfred Prufrock quite a bit and I started thinking man love song love song love song mighty long and so this uh, this is one of my favorite songs I've ever written and uh goes like this <laughs> I, I gave it to him. I gave him the song on a cassette tape in the last year of his life. I know because he called my grandma, and I, and I heard other people say that he would just get drunk, and he'd call different people, and he'd put the receiver by the <laughs> tape deck. Oh. And so if you picked up the phone, you go, hello, you would hear this. Alabama at the Colonial Inn Hot day, old orange juice and vodka on a nightstand Desert. Chevy Nova with the seat burned out the back From a Winston cigarette that was thumped into the window Bobby Long was like Zorba the Greek
was a friend of my papa's. We used to drink and tell lies, praise Flannery O'Connor, smoke cigarettes and philosophize. So here I am at the Colonial Inn, me and Captain Long and my pretty girlfriend. Now he charms her with a poem, then he breaks down and cries. He smiles a crooked smile with his broken cheekbone side. Tells about his life, now he's 63. But he looks me in the eyes, he says, come and go with me. He could walk on water, walk on water, but you know, he drowned himself in 